Okay, let's have some fun. All right. The model, right? 300 volts spike. And that's damped down by the battery. Okay, so let's go over the machine. Um, I don't know where the drawings are for this. Uh, was Rick controlling it by the computer? But if you put the SG up here, somebody that knows, uh, we'll go over the circuit so you understand the circuit completely. The SG is a self rotating magneto, which means that when the wheel turns, there's a magnetic pulse that goes into the coil. And when, when the magnet leaves the coil, it uh, generates a pulse that turns on the transistor. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Earth and heart. Since I woke up with no voice, but the SG machine. And is there a pointing stick around here? <laughs> so anyway, when this thing starts to turn, what happens is you're generating a pulse, which is a magnet, magnet, magnostatic pulse. And that tells the base of the transistor to turn on. But it turns on when it leaves the coil, so the magnet's never directly in line with the coil. So, can anybody tell me what's running the motor if the magnet's not in line with it? Where's the scale? Somebody come up here. Don't be bashful. Come up here. I'm just giving you a laser pointer, my man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, why is the scalar south? Is that a pointing stick? Okay. Yeah, I'm looking for the circuit. Here, here's a guy that makes the machine can't work the pointer. <laughs> chargers with the green lights that are going back and forth, they're floating at 15.3. That battery's charged. Short that one up. And see what happens is if you get the correct charge in the battery, people have said this because I read and I look at YouTube and I watch what's going on out there. And people think I don't look in on the groups, but I do. I go in there as a spy, ready to just kick you off the group. <laughs> right? Hardly. I love y'all. You know. And the thing is that this battery, when it can receive no more charges, is charged. So remember, if you want to make the machine better than this, it would be a multi-coil arrangement out there and you would divide the currents between the branches and then you would steal the charge from the branches. That's all this machine is, is all these are branch currents 
And that's why you see these big batteries. Because man, it's gonna wanna boil <laughs> these batteries over here. So what you really have to pay attention to is what did Rick Friedrich actually accomplish? What is he showing you outside? Right. And if you go find my brother running around here somewhere, he'll say, I want a practical application. I want to see lights running in my backyard. I say, guys, learn the theory, get busy. You ain't got much time. I've chosen one amp, but we can change it. I'll change it in front of you. I'll let you adjust it. I say seeing and feeling and touching is believing. That way there will be no questions floating around the internet on John. Well, he had something hidden in that box. <laughs> well, this box had that in it and that box had that in it. No, not this time, guys. This time you're going to get beat up. And it's going to get more technical. So I won't play around with it. I'll just show you what I did. I'll explain it to you and why I did it. And that way, there is no question mark in the machine out there in the parking lot. It'll be perfect. You'll get to have hands on. And all the people that didn't come here, too. So